Today we'll be using a 10 mil syringe, needles, a syringe cap, boronic, and a petri dish. First remove the plunger from the syringe and the black stopper from the plunger. Add a syringe cap to the syringe. Then pour chloronic into the syringe. We suggest loading about 3 to 5 mils. Carefully add the black stopper to the top of the syringe. Invert your syringe, then remove the cap. Use the plunger to push the material and stopper to the top of the syringe. Try to avoid air bubbles. Finally, add your needle. Next, attach the syringe to the hose, insert it into the canister, and twist it into the locked position. Then, tighten the screw below to secure it. In the Alevi software, home the Z, E, and X, Y axes. This will lower the bed plate and bring the extruders to the front right of the printer. Next, select your build plate. Today we'll use a petri dish, but you can choose from any of our presets. Once you've chosen your build plate, click Select Well Plate. This will center the extruders over the build plate and activate the first extruder. With the step increment set to 10 millimeters, move up the Z-axis. This will bring the bed plate back up. Switch the step increment to 1mm and bring it higher as you get closer. Switch to 0.1mm when you're very close. Click the extrude button under extruder 1 to test if the needle touches the plate while extruding. A well calibrated needle should just barely touch the plate without causing it to bend. Once you're at the right level, click Update and make sure the values match. Then click Calibrate. The bed plate will lower and the printer will activate Extruder 2. However, we won't be using that for this print. In the software, upload your desired G-code file. Today we'll be using a 25 layer cylinder. Click load and print and watch your printer go.